Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and for today's episode, we're going to be going over whether or not you should be pulling from the new Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku EX Plus banner deal that's currently in the game. Now, for those of you that have been watching the channel for quite a while or in my Discord, you more or less kind of already have an idea as to what exactly my advice is going to be. <laughs> Now, before anything else, before I go ahead and give my actual advice about the topic as well, and you know, give my thoughts and opinions, of course, like usual, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual banner itself. So, if we take a look in game, we can see right here, there's, like I said before, a seven star Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku EX Plus deal. Um, and in this deal, you are basically, it's honestly not too different from the deals we've been having so far, but you are guaranteed a trait medal on every single pull as well as a tier 5 7 star medal uh, that comes with one of like the usual types of like skills uh, that goes with it um, and it, it's fairly typical as to what they've been so far attack boost 6 max uh, defense 1 2 and 3 max 5 max engage 1 5 max and lux plus and triple threat 2 pretty standard but the main thing I want to point out for this banner though is that this is not a mercy pool okay it is not mercy all right <laughs> let me just underline that it is not a mercy pool uh so for those of you that were, may have been thinking that maybe like oh okay i can actually get them now uh fairly easily no it is not a mercy pool so don't expect to actually be able to uh get it anytime soon in any like first few draws or anything like that and real quick let's go ahead and take a look at the metal itself and see what it does so this is what it looks like it is a speed upright metal like i said before it is tier 8 it is aoe cost six gauges has a seven star total max multiplier of a 31.48 to a 47.39 deals three hits and for one turn it raises your upright strength by three your speed strength by seven tiers raises your guilt bonus by 100 percent lowers the target's general defense, upright defense, and speed defense by seven tiers, restores three gauges, deals more damage with one enemy left or zero uh, raid boss parts left, and it does not affect counters. So essentially, as kind of like most people I've been like saying uh, online already, this metal, this Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku EX Plus metal is basically almost like a tier eight version of a prime metal. All right, so something I want to point out real quick before anything else is that in case you haven't seen it on Twitter yet or you don't have a Twitter, uh, they had announced last night that we are happy to announce a new anniversary extravaganza in celebration of basically JP's uh, third anniversary. All your past used jewels were earned these special campaign coins. That is the big thing I want to kind of point out right there. Also arriving, you know, and just says, announces the banner. The main thing that I'm confused about for this banner is is literally that sentence right there all your past used jewels or in your special campaign coin i'm very confused about this i know a lot of people have been saying that this is ripped straight out of like doken uh battle and i think some other game I, what was it, like brave exius or something this is basically ripped straight out of that and from my understanding what this is supposed to be is that the amount of jewels that you've used within a certain time frame uh, will be converted into like little tokens that you can use to redeem like pulls, basically like free pulls uh, within the game. Now, whether or not that's how Union Cross is going to do it, I have no idea. Uh, they did say campaign coins, which does give rise to possibly being a board of some sort instead. Uh, so we're going to have to see how that goes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confused. As far as I can tell, I have seen none of these campaign coins at all whatsoever. There's not even a notice for it yet either. So the fact that they announced it, but there's nothing here it, I, i'm pretty confused about this so if anybody can give me more insight as to what the heck they're talking about maybe it was just a mistake maybe they said it early i have no idea maybe they weren't supposed to say it at all i have no idea um uh, but this is kind of part of the communication thing that i'm trying to talk about like here like it didn't show up it would be nice if they just made a little announcement like, like clarifying what the heck is going on um if, if, if it was just said if it was just said prematurely, please just make an announcement saying it was prematurely. So that way me and many other players can get this off our minds. Like, 
what the heck is happening type of thing. This is exactly what I'm talking about in terms of communication. Uh, but anyways, enough about that. Uh, in terms of the actual banner itself though, what I would have to say about it is, kind of like how I said before, it's not a mercy pull. So basically, don't pull from it. I said it before in the past, such as like with the Kairi EX Plus and Shion Plus deals, for example. Um, but any banner that is not a Mercy Pool is not worth pulling from. It is not worth the amount of jewels that you invest into it, and it is not worth the emotional investment that's worth uh, putting into it either. Okay, uh, you're better off. To be honest, like this is not this is not going to be the first seven star tier seven or eight metal banner that we're going to get in the game. All right, it's not going to be the first one, nor is it going to be the last. <laughs> In my opinion, you're better off just waiting until more show up. Um, ones that are actually Mercy Pull as well. Kind of like just how the Kyrie EX Plus and Xion Plus uh, deals were. And to be honest, you're better off if you don't already have them already. You're better trying to get these two first before anything else. Because these guys are going to be the medals that actually help carry you through uh, most of the other content from here going onwards as well. Yes, I realize... Um, that metals such as like Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku EX Plus and stuff is pretty good, but it's honestly not not as like game breaking or anything as like we were kind of uh, secretly hoping slash fearing it might be just because it's a Kingdom Hearts 3 yada yada. The easiest comparison that most people online have kind of been comparing this metal to is that it's basically like a tier 8 prime metal. And to be honest, as long as you have the Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie or Shion EX Plus metals, you just need hard-hitting metals, and you can use anything as your hard-hitting metal. Uh, so these guys literally take top priority first. You can. Uh, this is an easy skip for basically everybody. Don't forget as well that the Organization 13 quest is actually coming up pretty soon in about two weeks or so. So you might want to start saving for that for like starting now if possible. Uh, if you start saving now, remember if you participate in the survey that I went over in my last video, uh, you'll get 3,000 jewels just from participating in that. As well as you, if you log in every day and do the missions and such, that's like an extra 3,000 jewels per week. So that's like 9,000 jewels right there. On top of, you can get up to a total of 5,000 jewels from the Organization 13 uh, event itself. So I'm... I would assume you could very easily get about 2,000 worth of jewels uh, from the event, at, like more or less. The Organization 13 banner only costs 11,600 because it is falling price and mercy pool. So it should be fairly easy to obtain if you start saving it from now. On top of the fact that please keep in mind too that the Organization 13 banner tends to stay up for about a week or two. So you're still going to have time. That's like an extra week or two of like saving jewels if you still need a little bit extra. So starting right now in terms of saving for Organization 13 would honestly not be a bad idea. Uh, chances are we might get like another banner or two within this next week or two. But I am not expecting them to be anything significant enough that warrants pulling from. Um, unless it has like a guaranteed metal every single pull, kind of like how some of the prime metal banners have been so far. Uh, been so far. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. Uh, I would like to hear your guys' thoughts and comments about the Riku metal and the banner itself down in the comment section down, be down below. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kmart Senior Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.